Hi, I'm Michael Dalmar, and I'm here today to talk to you about four ball mills mess. It's a cool trick, and I'm betting a lot of people out there want to learn how to do it. First, let's get rid of the hat. We'll also go over tricks like reverse fountain with your arms crossed, windmill, four ball half mills mess, and finally, your four ball mills mess. These tricks will help you build confidence and eventually learn all the at aspects to a four ball mills mess so you can finally try it out. One thing to notice is that the balls never change hands in all these tricks. This is just like a typical four ball asynchronous pattern. Balls don't change hands. The balls do not change hands. First, we need to make sure you are absolutely confident with your four ball asynchronous juggling. Make sure you can do a fountain, a reverse fountain, and columns, and make sure you can switch from any of these into the others. This is absolutely crucial to learning four ball mills mess. There's no way you're going to make any progress towards it if you aren't a confident four ball juggler. Now let's talk about your cross arm four ball fountain. This will help you get used to throwing four balls with your arms crossed. And it's a pretty cool trick to learn for its own sake. The way to start learning a four ball cross arm fountain is to simply cross your arms, two balls in each hand, and juggle two in one hand in an awkward position basically. Try your top hand and then your bottom hand. Once you get comfortable juggling, juggling in such an awkward position, go ahead and try one hand after the other, like this. Once you get confident enough, go ahead and try your reverse four ball fountain with your arms crossed, just like this. Don't try doing more catches than you're comfortable with though. Practicing dropping has never helped anyone practice learning a trick. So go ahead and do a couple catches Stop the trick, controlled, and then eventually you should progress. Also try this with both hands on top so that you get a feel for the trick in both directions. Next, let's talk about underarm throws. Underarm throws are perhaps one of the most important tricks to learn before you try four ball mills mess because, well, they actually are part of a four ball mills mess. They are the key component to the trick. If you break it down to its parts, a four ball underarm throw is the most basic part of it. There's no real easy way to tell you how to do this, but how about we first try by learning how to switch from a reverse fountain into your cross arm reverse four ball fountain. This underarm throw will be awkward at first, but once you get into the cross arm fountain that you are now familiar with, it shouldn't be too bad. Go ahead and make sure you also learn this to both sides as with everything else. And there we have it, underarm throws. Exciting. Next, we're going to talk about your four ball windmill, which is arguably harder than four ball mills mess. Um, I, it's probably harder for me simply because I don't practice it as much as four ball mills mess. But there it is, a four ball windmill. What we're going to do here now, it shouldn't be too hard. We're going to try with mixed fountains. Notice that all the balls in my fountain here are going either clockwise or counterclockwise, rather than one hand going counterclockwise and the other clockwise as with a normal four ball fountain. Go ahead and be able to do this and switch freely between each. This will help you when we do four ball mills mess and it'll help you with the windmill. And here's why. A windmill is actually this, a mixed fountain like so, except with underarm throws thrown in on one hand every time. Notice my left hand is always doing an underarm throw and my right hand is always doing a normal throw. And it is in a mixed fountain fashion, if you will. 
So here we go. Underarm throw, normal throw. Underarm, normal. And it is simply fountain patterns. You'll also notice that the balls never change hands. Next, let's talk about your half mills mess. Here it is right on the screen. This trick looks pretty cool. Now what we're going to do is an underarm throw. And again, an underarm throw. Now if you do this continuously, you simply have a half mills mess. Go ahead and work your progress on this really gradually. Again, practicing dropping does not help anyone. And learn it to each side so that you can do a half mills mess in both directions. Once you get a half mills mess in both directions, you are absolutely set up for learning a four ball mills mess. There are several ways you can think about the four ball mills mess. You can think about it as doing a cross arm fountain where you're alternating between your right hand on top or your left hand on top continuously. You can th think of it as a windmill where you're switching between a clockwise windmill and a counterclockwise windmill continuously. Or you can think about it like a half mills mess except that you're alternating from one side to the other. In reality, a mills mess is simply put doing underarm throws as we practiced them before to both sides, one after the other. By the way, this is not a mills mess, although it's a really cool alternative kind of a trick and you might want to try learning it. If you find yourself doing this, it means that you're switching from a clockwise windmill to a counterclockwise windmill after your hands have already uncrossed rather than while your hands are uncrossing. Now that I have your attention, I thought I'd take a little time to show off, show you my new trick, a four ball Burks Barrage. I found that I get more views on videos if they're instructional videos, so this is just a really sleazy way of getting you to watch my new trick. I hope you don't feel too used, and I hope you understand how to do a four ball Mills Mess first. Always remember, be patient. It took me about three months to learn the trick, so Learn it at your own pace. There's no shame if it takes you a while. Thank you for watching my four ball mills mess tutorial. I hope it proves to be very helpful. And if you have time, go ahead and check out my other videos. I have a particularly cool new five ball glow juggling video. And I have an older video that is a little below my level of juggling now, but it's called four ball progress. Also, hats get in the way. Don't juggle with them.